full-blown autonomous countries with millions of people living in them. So they just only look at it like, who's the good guy? Who's the bad guy? Give me the shit. What do you think is going on with Israel? Well, Israel actually is a, a very interesting situation in that it is both the best of science and the worst of times. And what I mean by that is they only have a segment of their population vaccinated. They have a relatively high percentage not vaccinated. Well, um, I thought they were one of the most vaccinated countries in the well, world. Well, they are among the vaccinated. That's the whole point. They are actually where they're now doing fourth doses among many people. But if you look at the recent uh, big uptick in cases they had, it was almost all in unvaccinated people. I don't, that's not what I read. Uh, I read is, this whole is. thing about vaccinated people in Israel. Like that there was a giant surge there, of vaccinated the surge, people No, the surge is COVID. primarily in, and I don't have the numbers in front of me, but the surge is primarily in unvaccinated people. There surely was an increase in cases in, in vaccinated people who had had three doses. That's why they went to four doses for older populations, et cetera. But uh, the real burden, the, the major thrust in this surge uh, in Israel was, in fact, unvaccinated people. That's confusing to me because I'm okay. almost positive that I read something that was talking about the confusion that they're having because of the amount of vaccinated people that have been infected with COVID and that it's a giant percentage of the cases. I didn't read anything about it being primarily unvaccinated people. I just did that. Let's see if we can find something. Yeah, on that? go ahead. I just did that in my own podcast, by the way. OK, I just did a cover. I covered that about two weeks ago and I actually had the numbers in front of me and actually went through what percentage were unvaccinated, what percentage were vaccinated. Clearly, the, unvaccinated, the vaccinated did see increased numbers of cases, but the surge was really covered by the unvaccinated. So there's an enormous surge, but it's because of unvaccinated people. Yes. We can look it up. Huh. See, that is so confusing to me because I was almost positive that I'd read that a, an enormous percentage, like a very high percentage of the people that were new cases that were infected with COVID oh. were vaccinated. And they were increased. But again, the big surge itself, and particularly in hospitalizations and deaths, were oh. unvaccinated people. It, we can get it here, looked up here. Yeah, we're going to find Good. it. See what you, whatever you can find, Jamie. You got anything? Sort of. Sort of? <laughs> I mean, I can think it gets... It, here's the first thing I found, which I don't know, like the... the Efficacy of this analysis of COVID vaccine breakthrough infections in highly vaccinated Israel. Okay, a recent study published in uh, what does that say? Med RXIV preprint server researchers evaluated yeah. model age structured cases of severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2 um, vaccination this... coverage and breakthrough infections to do this the researchers data Ministry of Health bah, 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 bah. I, know, so I don't know if this this is, is an older piece. Yeah, this broke like this is the guy, like the guy you're talking to is the guy. He is the COVID guy. You know he is the COVID guy because you've had him on your broadcast as the COVID guy. Okay? So how are you going to fucking turn around and then be like, huh, the COVID guy that I had is, is fucking saying that the, the, <laughs> the COVID guy that I'm having on the broadcast specifically to talk about COVID is telling me that the Facebook posts I read about uh, uh, COVID is wrong. Pull that shit up, Jamie. Like this motherfucker didn't have a peep to say when he had on uh, those other psychos. Okay. Those actual psychos. It's just really fucking biased, dude. It is. It's just straight up biased. How are you going <laughs> to... How are you going to pull that shit up, Jamie? Fucking Michael Osterholm, dude. How are you going to pull that shit up, Jamie? Michael fucking Osterholm. This doesn't give it to you. This is yeah. January 13th. Yeah, but I mean, it's in terms of the Omicron surge, there's more data that's come out on that issue. Right, but this is only a month old. Yeah, I know, but I'm, 
if you look here, uh, here's Google then. unfortunately, my research assistant's outside the door. He actually has the papers in hand. <laughs> so, well, let's um, see what we we'll, can we'll find get you. We'll anyway. get you the data and show you that. Okay, uh, dude, think about how seriously they're taking this shit. By the way, like, dude, dude, he literally has like research ready to fucking go. That's wild. Like they. The American government, this is the American government taking Joe Rogan, podcaster extraordinaire, seriously. So seriously that, um, so seriously that they're like ready to go. Ready at the fucking helm. With research that they've brought over. With research they brought over specifically so they can convince Joe Rogan. Like, that's what it's, that's what's necessary at this point. To deal with this misinformation. How crazy. How crazy is that? Do you think he knew who he was bringing on? Yeah, of course he knows. He had... Okay. I've been very fucking fair to Joe Rogan. Uh, unlike all of my haters who are never charitable to me. I've been so goddamn charitable to Joe Rogan. Even throughout this entire fucking process. Okay? Okay. The thing is, he had Michael Osterholm on way before anyone else did. Motherfuckers think I'm too charitable to Joe Rogan. But he had Michael Osterholm on way before anyone else. Like, in the beginning of COVID. He had him on. So, of course, he knows Michael Osterholm is, is one of the main people. Not only that, but then, like... Uh, not only that, but but also uh, he had. He, I mean, he yeah, he agreed with him. Oh, my brain is like not functioning anymore. This is staged to retroactively make it look good for converting some hogs. And that you can take a look at that. Uh, that's an old, that's an old one. That's an old one. That's an old one. Okay. Let's, yeah, yeah. You got to have what's a in late that first, January. Let's go to that January one and see what it says, though. Okay, but even if that's like wrong, this dude is my favorite to be is this hard to see your nipple boy site Facebook memes over his COVID expert, but Oscar Holmes is at least uh, willing to fucking call out nipple boy branded bullshit. No, he did a really, I think he did a really good job uh, on this podcast uh, from what we saw. We're going to watch yeah. that. It's, it is an analysis, and we only looked at the top about the study. <laughs> yeah. The following data sources received, okay, March 21st to November. Also, this is not, Joe Rogan is not nipple boy, okay? He's nipple man. November 6th, 2021, da 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 Proportions of the various types of variants and concerns were also confirmed throughout the course of the study. The vaccinated class divided into five stages to mimic the diminishing of See, immunity. these are all vaccinated people. Mm -hmm. This is not the unvaccinated. So you have, what we're looking for are data that will actually talk about the number of unvaccinated. So what this right. study is doing is an important study. What it's looking at is among the vaccinated who had breakthroughs. Saying. Right. Okay. So maybe way. we can Google what percentage of people that have COVID in Israel are vaccinated. COVID and Omicron. Okay. So Omicron, which is uh, the mo how much more infectious is Omicron than than um, the uh, the Alpha variant or the Delta variant? Well, for the record, the breakthrough cases have actually increased, or not, uh, the breakthrough percentages increased with Omicron, and not only that, but also the hospitalizations. I believe the percentage of hospitalizations increased with Omicron as well. Um, I think part of it is because uh, part of it is probably because the efficacy of the um, the efficacy of the, the vaccines are diminishing. Like a lot of time has passed since they took the double shots. Um, so that's the reason why you are now seeing a larger percentage of people who did not get boosted, uh, a larger percentage of people who did not get boosted actually end up in the hospital, especially if they're like older. Um, so there is that, that uh, problem. Well, it's estimated to be at least two to three times more infectious than Delta, and Delta was two to three times more infectious than Alpha. I had, I had heard it was way more infectious than that. Yeah, that's roughly just, what we've got. Just guesswork. Well, two to three is a lot. How do they guess that? Is like, is it dependent on? It's a, a scale based on, <coughs> say, if you're infected, how many people you'll infect. Yeah, how many? It looks look pick at households and drug contacts that look at that, and that's really the primary way to get it.
there's not a way you can like look at the actual virus itself and no. say oh this is like measurably more infectious no. so it's basically in how many people it infects yeah that's it it's a real experience of what happens with it and in the same setting between the different variants what does it mean you got anything <clears throat> the first thing i found <laughs> come on jamie pull that shit up university jamie what the fuck dog we're getting fucked over here we're getting ass fucked over here, Jamie. What the fuck? Homie, give me something good. God damn it. <laughs> give me something. Anything. Um, it, it was blocked, but it said that before it blocked, it said that 40% of the population in Israel is, un, is unvaccinated. Yep. But 40%? It, yep. Again, it's, Why did I see, like, I read I that it was 80% that were vaccinated. Uh, is that true? No, that's right. 40%? That's exactly what. Yeah, that's exactly, and that's the group that really had. So I click on this. It's yeah. going to disappear real quick. See, it said it. But, yeah. Sorry, um, you got. You have the right stuff I'll there. I'll try to find that it. That is the right piece. Yeah. <laughs> that's the right piece, but it doesn't make Joe look good. <laughs> I don't know why he thinks like this is the this is the main problem I always have with skeptics. Right? I talk about this all the fucking time. Skeptics are often incredibly critical of mainstream sources, which is fine. Like, that's understandable, especially if you have, like, recognized the personal bias that a mainstream source might have. Like, I don't know, delivering uh, State Department propaganda. Like, the American media has historically done this, so it's, it's reasonable to be skeptical of it. But that doesn't mean you're going to all out just th cast it aside, okay, as I don't, and you know this. Um, this is, like, a part of my media literacy that I explain regularly. Right. But also the more important part about it is that these motherfuckers are never skeptical of like independent sources that that just confirm their biases. It's always so funny when they turn around and they're just like, I don't trust mainstream media, but this fucking Facebook post. Well, that one, that's got the real shit. That's got the goods. I will never, I will never double question. I will never second guess a Facebook post that I saw. Yeah. I can get it on yeah. the archive yeah. thing. So, but anyway, I think the message, so that means I think the Israel's message. only got 60% of their population vaccinated? Yeah. I thought it was way higher than that. No. So I think the message, though. Lags behind on COVID. 40% of Israelis have no protection against COVID. Yep. But isn't that... Oh, it's the Omicron variant, it says. Yeah. Right, but how does that work then? I mean, right. is, is that because Omicron evades the protection of the original vaccine? It does, and it also evades the protection so is, but of is previous that, infection. But is that, like... Put that article up again. It, the way they're phrasing that, is that a manipulation of language? Because if it's saying 40% of Israelis have no protection against COVID Omicron variant, but are they vaccinated from the original variant? Because if they're they, saying they, that they don't have they, any protection, are they saying that because they don't have protection because they've not, they don't have antibodies for it? Or are they saying they haven't been vaccinated? I can't tell you what that headline is saying there. All I it's can weird though, right? Yeah, the yeah, way they're yeah, phrasing yeah. it? All I'm telling you is, is that if you look at the proportion that had no vaccine, those that had full vaccination but no booster, that's what they were trying to compare. So this there. is what that is what they're saying. So look, it says one million refused the booster. Yep. While just 110,000 out of 1.2 million young kids got the vaccine. That's a lot of language there. Yeah. I originally found something when I was looking that said that uh, this is back in the end of the summer that 90 not, enough doses had been administered in Israel to get 99.3 percent of the population vaccinated. Yeah. That's enough to, but it doesn't mean that they were. No, well, see, it, the it's, thing it's also because they also counted a dose to person. And if you get two and three doses, you take it away from somebody else. So well, merely they, having 100 million doses and 100 million people doesn't mean you have 100 million people vaccinated. Well, they also don't count you being vaccinated if you're not boosted. Well, they do, but they don't count it as fully vaccinated. Right. You, yeah, but yeah. You have, they have a green card situation or yeah, with, yeah. whatever they – what is it? The, what's their term that they use? I don't know what it is. So th w with them, you, have, you must be boosted to be termed fully vaccinated, is it correct? Right. So when looking, this is what okay. pops up <clears throat> for what percentage is vaccinated. But it's like, enough is... to have vaccinated 99% of the country's population, but it doesn't mean that they did it. Exactly. Okay. So you said that Omicron, so part of the thing, the reason why that article was phrased that way is because Omicron evades the protection of the vaccine. 
It does evade protection of vaccine, and it evades the protection from previous infection at a level so, that the other variants hasn't done. If that's the case, then what is the benefit of getting <clears throat> vaccinated now? Oh, there's still very substantial protection, but it... I feel like Michael Osterholm, I don't know, maybe it's because, like, I, I feel like uh, what's-his-face has, like, really destroyed his credibility, kind of, uh, or or had to be, like, the fucking... Um, had to basically be like the the person who uh, is the fall guy almost, uh, Fauci. That I feel like Michael Osterholm is doing a better job at communicating this stuff than Fauci is. Show is like your chatters on Russia. Never listen to what is being said. Just looking for a gotcha moment. Yeah, what but if you if, if it's evading the protection of the vaccine, what is the protection it gives you? Well, again. Let me point out, these are numbers I said before. If you just look in this country for the issue of, uh, with this is during Omicron, if you look at deaths, again, the point I made earlier, if you're unvaccinated, your rate is about 9.74 per 100,000 population, 9.74. If you're fully vaccinated, it's 0.71. But if you're fully vaccinated with a booster, it's 0.01 per 100,000. But how is that possible if it evades protection of the vaccine? If you well, said 100% of all the cases that nearly 100% are now Omicron, yep. but Omicron evades the protection of the vaccine. But not for everyone. It reduces it. So what we're talking about... It reduces the protection yeah, yeah. of the vaccine? Yeah. So, for example, with the booster, you can boost it back up. If you look at... For example, fully vaccinated, two doses, or you look at it versus two doses plus what some would call the booster. You had eight times as much protection with full vaccine and that booster than you did just full vaccine. From Omicron? Yep, yep. So then how is it not protecting you from the va Then how is it evading the, the, the vaccine? It, well, the evasion is not complete. It's, it, it's limited. So if you take something from 95% protection, what do you think is going on? Did we not have the basics? Like, did Joe Rogan just like lose lose the the conversation about basics? Where you know risk reduction, harm reduction, lower like an efficacy rates lowering as time passes because the vaccine efficacy is diminished over time, especially with new variants coming out that are way more infectious. For example, I, like I I don't I don't get the the fucking I don't get the the weird shit that the, he has to constantly can like people have to constantly contend with. Whenever they're having a conversation with him about vaccines, even if it's like a straight up. <laughs> yeah, explain this, guys. Imagine thinking I'm, I'm fucking uh, anti-Ukraine. Then explain this. Huh? Explain this. Exactly. Here I am literally defending... Literally defending Kiev with Babushka. With Babushka. Yeah, you have no you have no explanation. Okay? You have no explanation for this. You fear you fear that I am trained by the Azov Battalion. Okay? Azov Battalion, more like the Azan Battalion. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's how much I love Ukraine, that I trained with the Nazis, dude. Hey, it's fine. Fine, guys. It's just, it is what it is, you know? What is this? What? Thanks, Wapo. I remember this next time I'm interviewing a mother whose son or daughter has been shot dead in the street due to the war on their doorstep. Actually, this is good for Western economies. In the long run, wars make us safer and richer. What? No fucking shot. Oh, this is from 2014. God, what a bunch of monsters. Are you fighting for the Turks in Ukraine? 
Dude, I'm fighting to to bring Crimea back to uh, Turkey, to Turkish uh, land, okay? All of Ukraine technically could be Turkish if you will it enough, okay? And all of Russia belongs to Ukraine. Therefore, 